and X marks the spot, anviling a player's name on a map will give you that player's current coordinates, and the map turns into a stick because the uh, spigot was not nice to me when I tried to t tried to remove it from the player's inventory. <laughs> oh, that's great. Benjalal's gonna find the tall grass that I put in a chest. We love Benjalal, bro. So Benjalal's gonna get the first three diamonds of the game and achieve the bounty, because apparently you can't get tall grass. You can get it into creative inventory. You can't seem to acquire it from the uh, just shearing tall grass. Timothy taking several amounts of damage to a silverfish. Just run away. Just run away, Timothy. It's not worth it. Just back out. Atomic Belch, who is on the surface, is going to get that flower and get the three diamonds from the Azure Bluette. Timothy, just please run away. The strip mine down is not worth it as he is spam clicking the silverfish. Timothy getting rocked by silverfish down to 29.4% and still trying to fight the silverfish. He's going to successfully kill two of them there, but there are three left as another one get a 5.6% hit on him, dropping him below 24%. Gonna kill another one. He's still spam clicking the silverfish not unsuccessfully. Mind you, 5.6% down to 18.1. As Sick gets poisoned, Benjalal is gonna craft an enchantment table. Six his diamond pants, a really terrible decision from him, is he's gonna be poisoned down to a very low amount of health. He has the ability had the ability to make enchants rather, but instead opted to make a diamond sword and pants. Terrible decision making the pants there. Pro Dennis an enchantment table of his own. He's also got uh, spare, he's actually got middle pieces diamond. Dennis off to a really good start in this game with the ability to make two golden apples. A potential fragging opportunity to uh, for Dennis going to be occurring early on if there are players. Oh my god! Iron ingot! Like half the game just got the iron ingot uh, item bounty. That sucks if you didn't have one iron on you. <laughs> it's going to be a rough time. We got to check proximity as the players are now able to fight, and it looks like we're going to see Atomic Belch and Elgo engaging in a PvP mess here. As Elgo is getting tridented twice. He does not have a shield. Actually, yes, he does not have a shield. Belch gets the kill on him and his diamond chest plate as all of his stuff gets anti-burned there. Elgo is the first death of the game as Emery and Mikito are also fighting. Mikito going hard on Emery as Emery's going to pre-gap him and then get several melee hits in a row on Mikito. Going to be evening out this fight and Emery's going to take the fight here with one more melee hit on him. He gets the kill and going to be a good one from him. The or probability, Prodenis is top probability, makes sense, as Disu going to three tap Atomic Crossbow, we wish we were able to see that one, I think that may have occurred when Atomic Crossbow was trying to acquire the Obsidian for enchantments, uh, Wox is just gonna run away as Frankie and Benjalal are now engaging in melee. Benjalal is enchanted, but Frankie has his signature diamond axe as Benjalal walks right into the lava, gonna burn to death before the gap gets off, and Woix very, very quickly deletes Hayu. Both of these players now dying as Frankie's gonna pick up some enchants from Benjalal. GG, thank you for playing. Interesting, thank you for casting C Money. You are very welcome as Frankie and Belch are gonna be fighting. Belch getting a 33% melee hit there. We tried to TP to the location of this event, can't seem to find it. Creeper banner pattern, that's gonna be very tough for any player to achieve here. Frankie kinda getting rocked by Belch. Both players are enchanted. Belch has the trident and diamond sword in his possession, gonna be packing a pretty big punch with that trident. The wolf, though, might be able to make a decent play as Belch gets an absolutely clutch lava bucket and d -d 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 drops Frankie on his forehead. Juan clean and Woix now fighting. We're going to tune into that fight as Woix goes down into a cave and finds Juan almost immediately. Going to be just destroying Juan in this fight. I don't think Juan's going to get out of here alive, even with the ability to block Woix off. He's not going to as Woix is going to kill Juan here. Got him down to 3% and dead. Timothy going to take 5% fall damage right before that fight happens. As Proden is up over 30 diamonds now. With that vein, he's going to be full diamond with now the ability to make a sharp 3 diamond sword. Oax is or, uh, Pro Dennis pretty stacked at the moment, looking good himself. Zavarmer as Seahawk is doing a number on Dodo here, but Dodo's able to spam click him with the axe to death, getting the kill as El Tio Dodo down to 
11 percent there we're gonna approve seahawks message because it is a good message in the chat dodo able to kill seahawk who has been lagging a fair bit this game and as main mike is going to take a significant bit of poison damage to a cave spider lurking below the mine shaft it's gonna fall on him and give him the fat poison oh seba gonna get the spruce boat pretty much immediately as nick g's gonna get hit by the atomic belch trident atomic belch with a decent chance of winning this game gonna deal significant damage to nick g here but not actually close any of the distance just gonna make him lose a little bit of his healing as belch is going to run back towards zero zero emery catches an anvil and emery tries to build up six sky base as sick getting another anvil kill in the C Money casting series, we've got to credit him rightfully for that kill on the kill board. Up to him, his belt is going to deal a fair bit of damage to both Tiny and Oseba with the Trident. Going to miss Oseba there and hit a pig. He is a pig abuser. Uh, is Oseba trying to get away? Belch is going to take 8.4% fall damage. As Belch, half diamond, chasing after Oseba, who only has diamond boots and is unchanged, just going to miss the trident throw there. Oseba doing his best. He's got a trap. He is going to try to get Atomic Belch in this trap here. And he, he doesn't. He places a block over his trap. Going to be unsuccessful there. Not a good play from Oseba. Really quite throwing there. Nick G killed by Tiny X Ninja as this all is occurring. Oh, Seba. Oh, Atomic Belch is going to take 34% fall damage there, though. The, not the trap that Oseba was going for, but he is maneuvering this cave like a champion. A lot of gold in this cave as well if Belch is able to take him out. But Oseba going to try to put up a fight here, most likely. Nope, he's going to keep running. Running, running, running. All Oseba is going to be doing here is Belch closes the gap very well, but a nice lava bucket from Oseba comes out. Nice melee hits, too. He's got Belch down to 55%, but not going to be enough as Belch is going to impale him to death and get his third kill of the game, leaving 15 players remaining. A creeper blows up nearby Belch as that's actually somebody who came... I think Woix might have come down the trap here or dug down nearby, and he blows up to the creeper in the back! Woix is dead and the C-Money Pog face needs to be dropped in the chat as that one is a wild occurrence. Woix blowing up 149% to the creeper. Not going to be a fun time for him. C-Money Pogs in the chat. Distracted. Oh, Dodo and Bova, Bova Scotia are fighting. Bova Scotia might have a pretty solid bow here. Heh. <laughs> Bova Scotia. Uh, he's going to be fighting El Tio Dodo. He's got a power too, but it's doing a pretty decent number to Dodo here. He's definitely, I think, a 1.8 prioritized player here. He's doing a lot of bowing. Belch and Josh fighting. Two pretty geared players. Don't think Josh has much healing, but um, Belch has a bit more, but also has the gear difference here. Belch is 4-1 with the Diamond Axe, and Josh is going to be 3 gaps, so a close, close difference here. we got to keep an eye on both fights at the moment. It's, I think Bova Scotia and Dodo also bowing. We're going to try to bop between the two of these here. They're keeping a good distance here. Let's go to bow spamming Josh, uh, who's fighting Belch. Both of these fights happening at the same time, trying to keep it as entertaining as possible, keep us bouncing between the two fights, seeing if the health get anywhere low. Josh seems to be stalling this one out pretty good. Uh, Dodo's getting a number done to him by Bova Scotia. He's down to 44%, but he's going to drop some solid cobwebs there and be able to get the heal. He's got two gaps remaining as Bova Scotia trying to close the distance here, but really nice bow shots all around from Bova Scotia. Dodo going to hit a nice 13% hit. There is Timothy Numbers going to fall and die. It's going to be an F in chat for Timothy. As Bova Scotia is putting down some decent melee here. Dodo's got him on similar health. He's going to get the gap off, put himself in an advantage. Bova Scotia down to 44%. He's going to pop a heal as we've got Sicked in his diamond pants observing this fight. And drop a quick GG. Thank you for playing for Bova Scotia there. As Dodo's going to get a pretty hefty shot hit on him as well. They're going hot in the melee here. Uh, Bova Scotia with the health advantage. I'm not sure Dodo has any healing left. He does not, but he does have 18 gold that he might feed to this player if the player is able to secure the kill. A nice bow shot coming out from Bova. 25% damage, knocking Dodo down to 29% as he drops the water, but it's not going to be enough, but Bova actually slows himself down there. Dodo slowing himself down in the same uh, manner. He's got him down to 4%. 
One more bow shot's going to finish him off, but he's going to get saved by a chicken as Dodo's going to try to round the hill here, but struggling to get up the blocks as he's still running. Bova's still shooting bow shots, and it's a pretty eventful event here. Z Prime underscore Psycho, welcome to the stream. I hope you're enjoying this casted UHC as LTO Dodo's going to be trying to get down as fast as possible. Z Prime, if you want to drop a follow, uh, we would greatly appreciate it. He's going to drop a Bova! Oh my god! And LTO Dodo is saved by the Creeper! Oh my god, Creepers have been going nuts this game! As LTO Dodo is saved by the Creeper! Absolute saved! Oh my god, he digs down! He's gonna follow LTO Dodo down and gets it dropped on his head! This game has been nuts so far. Oh my god. Z Prime Psycho, you picked a perfect time to tune into the stream as the creeper is going to fall on Bova's head and kaboom, El Tio Dodo picks up another diamond piece for himself and is in a decent position to move forward in this game. He's now 4 and 1 on his healing and Dodo's probability Skyrockets as he goes from zero to hero thanks to that creeper. LT on Lamont getting absolutely tossed by Atomic Belch and a spider in the same fell swoop. Wow. Time. Loaf is going to be chasing down Mike. Mike is aware of Loaf's presence. Going to be blocking off the water here. He sees him. He's got the sword out. Puts a nice lava down on Loaf and a decent melee hit here. Loaf's on 58. Mike on 7. Has a nice lava bucket. It's going to come out from Loaf there and he's going to secure the kill. Main Mike is eliminated. We've got 9 players remaining in the game. Atomic Belch now fighting El Tio Dodo, Dodo on very low health. Um, Joshua's fighting him. I'm trying to get to this fight as soon as possible. Dodo... Uh, unfortunately, not going to be saved by another creeper there, as he's going to perish to Atomic Belch. Belch is 3-2 and two with the ability to make an additional head. We've got seven players remaining. Well, from what Hello, I saw Josh, at 0, zero from the brief bit I was there, it, was, it looked like a high of 80 degrees, a little bit of a cooler day from the last game. And it is still partly cloudy. Oh, that's a pro Dennis. The sun still never goes down. Back to you, C Money. Thank you, Loaf. We're going to watch as Disu just drops the absolute shit out of Joshua there, dunks on him, and is now going to be full diamond in this game with a prime, prime opportunity of winning the game. But Loaf is going to get backstabbed by Pro Dennis, going to have no health remaining as Pro Dennis also securing a kill and securing some healing for himself as instantly just like that disu and dennis probably the favorites to take home this win despite how sacked atomic belge is as well could be for the win here disu does not put on the full diamond that he gets from joshua a bold strategy from disu strange strange by Disu not picking up the full diamond that was there. There's even a chest plate isolated from the rest of the gear as Belch might be set to win this one, but he's getting kind of dunked on by Disu. Disu, a, very, a player just do not want to, to downplay his performances here. Um, it gets stuck in a cobweb. Going to be tough for him to get out of this. He does successfully get out of the cobwebs. His armor actually not taking too much damage from Belch here. The Trident's going to deal 10%. Solid hit there from Belch with the lava. Uh, weird. He was burning in water. Going to be strange for Disu to burn in water like that is Belch. I don't think Belch has the healing to, to sustain this fight. Only has three gaps. Disu, 6-1. And laying down the law on Atomic Belch at the moment. Both players on pretty even health. He's going to steal Belch's lava bucket as Tiny X Ninja is going to be viewing the fight at the moment. Disu pops a 7% hit with an arrow there. And he's going really hard at, on Belch here despite having the gear disadvantage. Doing a really good job in this fight as Belch gets him where he needs him. Both players on even health as Belch is burning right now. Players still on pretty even health. A nice hit from the Trident. They're going to get the gap off and again on about even health. Belch doing some nice melee hits, still even. Disu gets the gap off and Belch is at a disadvantage. Going to be knocked down lower into the cave as Disu laying down the log out. Belch on 13%, 7%, up to 12 with the regen, 17 with the regen, 20 with the regen. Down to 11, 13, both players on about 14 health. Disu getting overzealous here and might die, but he gets the gap off. Both players are able to heal as Belch getting a little bit tossed by Disu at the moment. 
both players on again even health but i don't think g2 is going to make it out alive as belch is able to secure the kill and get a little bit of gold off of that gg to d got a little overzealous at the end of that fight and is going to die because of it. Pro Dennis and Danny DeVito fighting. Dennis is stuck in water, but Dennis also has the most healing left in this game and way better gear than what Danny is rocking at the moment. But Danny doing a really good job in this melee fight at the moment. He's got the highest health in the game as Dennis is trying to disengage to get a heal up. Gets stuck in the water. Danny's not going to hit him here. A delayed hit from Danny might end up sending Danny to the grave. Is Dennis going to drop two 15% hits in a row? And both players going to disengage to probably heal. Both players are now re-engaging as Dennis is going to have his shield disabled by Danny. This is where you got to go nuts in the melee here. But Dennis is not going nuts. He's actually getting hit a fair bit by some decent hits from Danny. Dennis going to pop the heal here. He's got... Uh, Danny's only got one gap remaining to Dennis's... How many does Dennis have? Seven. Uh, Dennis going to get a nice cobweb down. Gets Danny stuck in it. Danny has no healing remaining. And that's probably the end of his life here to pro Dennis. Down to 21%. Down to 13%. And down to death. As Dennis secures the kill. But gets drained a fair bit as he started the fight with 13 gaps. Now he's down to six. Speaking of six... We've got Sicked nearby in 3 fourths Diamond, a Prot 3 Diamond Helmet that he must have loot swooped from Joshua. He's got a TNT minecart in the tree nearby Dennis, but no healing to his name and 54% health. Probably just down to Pro Dennis and Atomic Belch as far as the people potentially able to win this game. As Belch is going to send it on Tiny, who has two golden apples, doing pretty decent in the melee, but gets dropped just a bit too fast. As Tropical Fish is the item bounty required, Belch up to six gaps and probably up to taking home the W in this game. Hell yeah! Sick gets it. Oh no, oh no, Belch is going in. Oh, that didn't deal enough. Sick waited too long to break the wood. And dies. Atomic Belch now up to 8 kills. If he takes home the win, he's going to be a 9 kill win. Bears. It's going to go through all of them. Nick G gifted 5 subs. Oh, we're at 20 subs just like that, dude. Thanks for the, thanks for the gifted subs, man. Belch is really making Trident meta a real thing. Come on, Dennis. Oh, no. Big Lava. Dennis is out of healing, Belch is not, and the Trident spam is brutal from Atomic Belch here. So I believe he's got two Tridents to his name, and he's spamming both of them at Pro Dennis. Although this, this method of play is very obnoxious from Belch. Hopefully Dennis isn't... Oh no. Oh no. That's, that's something. Oh. Anyway, everybody, thank you for watching. I've been C-Money. Peace out, and have a good night.